G'day, my name is David Sloan and I'm the Chief Agronomist with Grow Guru. I'd like to talk to you today about the benefits of using permanently installed soil moisture sensors in row crops. Over the past 10 years, many of you have become very familiar with reading graphs like this. Indeed, soil moisture probes have been responsible for providing huge increases in yield and quality, while also providing decreases in input costs and water. And so they've, they've really become widely adopted, widely used. Although there is a limitation, especially if you are growing crops in the southwest region, uh, where stored soil moisture is paramount, because you have to wait until you've uh, planted the crop, till you've got a plant stand before you can install the probe, and then you have to pull it out again at harvest time. And so there's a lot of data missed and a lot of value that's left on the table. At Grow Guru, we've developed a way of installing uh, probes permanently under row crops, and so we can get a very long-term data set. Indeed, we expect to go for uh, seven years or more with an unbroken data stream. So we can join one crop to the next to the next, and that provides huge benefits. We can look down into the soil and see layer by layer what's going on. And so I'd like to unpack some of those benefits for you today. For a start, if we do compare this to uh, seasonal installations, uh, where you're kind of looking through a keyhole and you only have three months worth of data, um, one data set doesn't align to the next because when you extract a probe you have to give it time to bed in and so uh, and, and the numbers won't line up to the next year whereas if you put something a probe in permanently we could put it in prior to planting so it's got bedding in time and by the time you get to the season uh, everything is is ready to go and we should have already worked out our fallen refill points and once we've done that we can also carry those fallen refill points across to the next season. We're not removing the probe, we're not disturbing it, so therefore everything should line up from one season to the next. And This is a huge benefit, especially coming into the season where you can work out if you presumably you've taken moisture out of the soil from the previous crop and if it hasn't rained or you haven't got snow melt then you're probably going to have to irrigate to put it back in there. And this presentation is really focused towards those areas in the southwest and, and west where people do need to pre-irrigate. Once again, if we look through the keyhole, we don't get as much data as if we get to uh, keep the probe in. And this first example, the first uh, piece of data that was really missing, was what happens after the season and during the winter. We want to know where we finish, but we also want to know what the winter has brought us in terms of uh, rainfall and irrigation, or sorry, rainfall and snow melt. And here we can see that this probe would have been extracted just prior to a, a rainfall around harvest time or just after harvest time. That would have been missed. We can see some events that happened over the course of the winter and they would have been missed. But what's really key is actually being able to use the probes for pre-irrigation. Indeed in the, the Panhandle of Texas, some of the irrigators there who only get a 24 inch allocation will use six inches or more to uh, pre-water and to wet the ground. So 25% of your irrigation budget is missed because the probe is sitting in the shed. Well, not anymore. We can put that in the field and have it running for you 24-7, uh, 365 days of the year. And by the way, if uh, uh, the telemetry is, is taken away, the uh, system will still log and we'll, we won't miss any of this data. So even during harvest times and um, uh, planting times, you know, we can still give you an unbroken data set. Of course, uh, we also get to see the uh, dry down at the end of the season as well, which in many times is, is missed. One of the, uh, the benefits of having this long-term data set is that we get a wider frame of reference. So if we had just installed this probe at the start of the season, and normally if we're irrigating and we see water move through the soil, the assumption would be that Water is moving through wet soil, so it must be a, a wet column. Uh, there's the assumption in, in the absence, because we would have installed the probe on this date, we see some moisture getting down to the 48 inch depth. And so we're more inclined to think that it's actually full. But if you pan back and you look at where the cotton crop left us, it took a lot of moisture out at that 48 inch uh, depth, and it was never replenished. So we're actually coming into this season running a deficit down deep. We can see that the deficit is also present at the 40 inch level. And so if we didn't have this, uh, this wide frame of view, we would just assume that the soil's full. So it's critical, especially if you're relying on that deep moisture. 
which in this case the corn crop was uh, was okay on the top three feet. But coming back into the uh, the next the subsequent crop, if that happens to be another cotton crop, we know that we're still running a deficit down deep and well at all levels at the moment, but especially down deep. So we're going to have to work especially hard to pre-irrigate and wet that back up. That's information that's critical to growing high yielding crops and it would have been missed with the seasonal installation. As we know in the uh, western corn belt and indeed most of the midwest it's very hard to keep up with uh, peak evaporative demand during the middle of the season and so most of the the western corn belt people are under deficit so they're just irrigating full time. But the only times you can really make a, a valid decision are early in the season and late in the season where the irrigation supply is greater than the evaporative demand. And so you can, you can make a decision. The trouble is, if you're during this early period, have, uh, you have to plant the crop and wait for a plant stand and then you're racing to try and get the probes in. A lot of these early decisions are missed and yet we're still irrigating. So you're paying for a probe, but you're not getting the benefit from it. Then you also need a couple of irrigation cycles to help it bed in. So once again, information lost, decisions lost. At the end of the season, depending on uh, the, the company you're working with, you, you may be able to carry through and, and to the very end of the season and have the probe extracted exactly when you want. But in many times, the extraction happens on a set date and some of the late planted crops get probes pulled too early and you really miss the dry down. And in fact, most of the time probes are pulled out uh, after the last irrigation but well before harvest and so you really do miss the uh, uh, this later extraction and so once again it's valuable data that you could use carrying to uh, understand uh, crop water use and, and setting your full and refill points understanding how um, powerful the root system can be uh, with extraction all of that is missed and so by installing probes permanently we get this unbroken very wide data set and we get a huge amount of value. So would you rather be looking at, at a full data set or just a keyhole for each season? The question remains, you know, why pay for probes but have them sit in the shed? There is, it's not just more data, it's the most valuable data that you could have in terms of setting up the crop for, for success and getting those high yields. So some of the other side benefits are uh, that we only get to we only need to install the probe once every five to seven years. We can uh, install the probe right across the winter period, so we get a very long installation window instead of battling over three to four weeks. We get uh, five to six months of installation. Uh, we can also install with no crops present, so you can drive in the field, and then we get to monitor uh, winter moisture and frost lines. Obviously, we get to manage that pre-season irrigation. A huge benefit is carrying over the full and refill points. The probe is uh, good to go right out of the gate uh, when the season hits, so at planting time. We just get a, a very clean long-term data set. And so we don't want to leave any value sitting out there. We want to get it all. We want to see all the every day of the season and every day of the year. And from that, I thank you.